And of course, because this is fix it, efficiency is more important than safety. So, yep, there you go. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get to work on uh, completely tearing down and rebuilding our storage. I did decide uh, that I'm going to do that on camera with you guys. I'm going to do parts of it on camera. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Uh, some of it's going to just be uh, a lot of tedium. But before we even think about that, I just wanted to show you a couple more things over here with our computer facility. Uh, I went ahead and used the plastic coating on the concrete uh, so made that look really nice and also uh, set up the power to run off the ceiling in most places a few places though I have it running off the wall because there's too much stuff up above on the ceiling um, and uh, removed all the power poles off the floor in here so it's looking nice and clean uh, also up above I uh, remove the center concrete pieces and put glass in so that way when you're on the upper floor you can look down and see what's going on on the lower floor so I think it looks really cool and then all of the wiring in here is nice and neat as well I ran most of the wiring just kind of along this little ridge here and then down to the machines that needed it because it wasn't really practical to run those off the ceiling so it's looking good. I, I like how this build came together. It's uh, It wasn't too terribly complicated either. But, uh, you know, there is an elegance in simplicity. So I like it. Okay. So I gave some thought to what's going to happen over here. And here's what I've decided to do. We're going to put in some temporary bins to feed the product into to just to store up so we still have it to use you know from all the inputs and then everything that's currently stored we're going to throw into a sink um it's just it's going to be too much fucking around to have to move it out of here and then move it back into here when it's done uh, plus we'll get a nice little supply of coupons for doing all of that too so that is the plan for that all right, so let's get started first with the storage bins. And before I forget, uh, where's our nearest sink at? We got one over here. All right, so we currently have s seven coupons. And um, maybe 10, 15, 20% or so. Uh, in, into you know towards the next one so it's just we'll just say seven coupons because I'm curious to see how many coupons we're gonna have by the time we sync all this stuff it should be substantial for over here we're gonna grab ourselves a storage bin and we're just gonna set it right here and again all of this stuff I'm doing is temporary um, yeah we'll put it right there that's fine and we're going to put another one on top of it. We're going to use two bins, which is, should be more than enough. Okay. And then what we're going to do here now is we're going to... So we're going to take this and we're going to put it on the same level as uh, this belt here, which I think is right there let's cut these lines here all right now we want to put a merger here uh I guess does that does that actually work yeah apparently it does okay I'm not going to be too concerned about things being nice and neat and straight because this is all temporary. Let's just put you right there. Okay, 
So that'll feed all 11 of these products into these bins so that we can continue using it as needed. Good. Okay, for, for the steel products that are coming out of this factory, we have a total of five, I think. Why don't we just cut those three conveyors there? Why is that one sticking out a bit? That's weird. Okay. And then let's... Let's just put up a couple of storage bins over here. Just around the corner, I guess. And we'll put a... A merger here. All right, and then we'll grab this down here. All right, well, we're not going to run it through the building. We'll be a little sensible about this. We'll run this one to... I guess it <clears throat> needs to come out to there first. Then it can come to here and then into there. And then this one. Is that straight? Yeah. It'll come to here. Why am I not flying? And go around to there. Yeah, I know. It looks jank, but it's temporary. Good. Okay, so that'll start filling up these bins with these five steel products so we have them to use if we need them in the interim. Because everything else we're gonna we're gonna melt down. So actually this this is actually storing twelve products because it also has the quick wire. Uh, so it's storing concrete, cable, screws, reinforced plates, modulars, rotors, iron, iron rod, wire, copper sheet. So everything up to here plus the quick wire. Just because of the way that, you know, I had I had added the quick wire quite a bit later. So that's why it's down the line a little bit. But, you know, just kind of the way I routed things in behind. It came down here, but it's still input from up here. So we are storing it for now. That takes care of that. Now, we also have um, we have modular frames that we need to do a temporary uh, storage of. Why don't we actually do that? Here, all of this stuff needs to come too, but I'll, I'll clear all that out later. Let's break this line here. Um, and just trying to think about this here real quick. <clears throat> Let's grab this storage bin. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to utilize this space in the new build immediately. So that's why... I I want, I want everything to be on the road for now and out of the way of this building space. Okay. And that'll divert the modular frames into there. Because those things come <clears throat> so slow, too, I think what we'll do is we'll... Uh, which one is it? Yeah, let's just grab a couple... Of, extra stacks of these 
to put in there. <clears throat> I mean, I can't imagine we're going to actually need them until we get the storage set back up, but just in case, right? Okay, so that takes care of that. And then finally, we have plastic, rubber, fuel, and empty containers over here that we need to put into storage. So we're just going to grab a storage bin and set it right here. Uh, maybe back a little more just so we have plenty of room here. Put this on the back side. And then you can go here and then right th uh, there. Okay, and then we cut this line and we simply run into there and Bob's your uncle. Easy peasy. Cool. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a whole mess of awesome sinks put down out front here. Um, and what I want to do is I want to run I guess yeah we could probably tap into this um, I want to make sure this is a mark 2 outlet though is this a that's probably a double yeah I'm sure it is there we go and then we have We've got this one here that we can run power off, and this one here. Yeah, okay, we're good. Oh, and I guess we even have a power pole here, too. Let's make sure this is a Mark II. Shoot, for that matter. Just to make things even a little neater. Uh, yeah, let's just pop that Mark II pole in there. Good deal. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come along and we're going to add some mergers. And we want them pointing this way. And we want them to be probably right there. And we're going to use Mark 5 for all of this so we can move the product as fast as possible. All right, that's good enough. And then in front of the merger, we're going to put a sink down. Right there. Run that to there, and run power to it. And that'll get started with the first three products. Now remember, we have seven coupons, so we'll see how many we have at the end of all of this. All right, get that going on the outside there. like that uh yeah that's where that needs to go and we'll run some power from here to there all right so you guys basically get the idea i'm going to do this all the way down to the end and when i have that in place i'll bring you back and then we'll go from there all right guys we have all the sinks set up and all the stuff going into it. I uh, I don't know how long this is going to take. It's going to take a while. <laughs> it's going to take a while. My guess is it's probably going to take at least an hour in real time. Um, so it's about 10.30 a.m. my time on Sunday. 
So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how close that is. It actually might go faster than that. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Now, while we're letting that all do its thing, the next thing I need to do is get stuff torn down. So I'm going to do that largely off camera. But basically, what I'm going to do is everything you see back here is going to be completely torn out, including the building itself, because we're, like I said, we are completely rebuilding this uh, from the start. And uh, yeah, so I think I'll do that. And then once I have everything torn out, uh, I'm just going to let the game run. And when it's, uh, you know, when the, the stuff is finally all sunk, then we can take the containers out and then rebuild this. So I'll bring you guys back when we get to that point. I got a lot of stuff to tear out here, so best get going here. All right, guys, I am back, and we have sunk everything in the storage, and I have also cleared uh, the building out pretty much here. So the first thing is, and this is also now completely filled up in both bins, but that's fine. It'll just have to sit there and not do anything for a bit. I think we're probably... How, how close are we getting over here? Okay, so this is still got about an, a little more than a half of a bin left. Uh, so we now are sitting at 21 coupons. Um, and about two-thirds of the way to the next one. So we started with seven. So we got quite, quite a few coupons uh, by doing all that, which is really cool. All right, so the next thing now is to tear out um, all of this stuff. And then um, then we need to start laying out um, the new configuration, which I'm going to um, have to probably do a little bit of off-camera thinking about. Um, but the general idea is that we want to... Um, have it, you know, right now it's 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 running, well, it's basically running north to south, but I want to run the aisles east to west and have storage on both sides of the aisle um, and also probably maybe even double them up. Uh, so we are using much more efficient use of much less space for this and also better access to it as well. So let's get all of these belts out of here. Uh, we'll have to redo the sign at some point. I'm going to leave this conveyor road here for now because um, I might reuse it or I might not. And if I don't, you know, then I'll, of course I'll figure out something else. I, what, what I could do is reroute all this product, you know, to go along that conveyor road there because um, there's, there's room here to expand vertically as needed. Uh, but we'll just kind of see how that comes together first. How much? Yeah, I got plenty of space. All right, so let's grab all of these all the way down. And we... Oh, we get, yeah, we got to get the signs, too. I think, too, this... You know, these gave the illusion that the storage bins were supporting that conveyor road. And I think I'm going to leave that there for the time being until I kind of decide how it's all going to come together. Okay, so let's filter those, and then we'll get all of these signs out of here all the way down. That's a lot of signs. Excellent. I did leave at least a portion of this wall in place uh, because I believe I'm going to keep that wall there. And um, probably will, when I do ultimately rebuild the structure here, I will probably, um, you know, use the same overall look and feel that we, we had with the, you know, with the other building. Okay, so at this point, guys, I think I'm going to cut the camera again, and I'm just going to start messing around with this and, and kind of come up with a game plan. And then once I have that figured out, as usual, I'll bring you back and we'll, uh, we'll build it together. All right, guys, I think we're ready to uh, start this build here. Uh, I did a, a test build of the storage, and I like the way that it came together. And so now we're going to build it on camera. Uh, all right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to 
build three walls this way. Then we're going to put in a, a door here. And I lost my power there. In fact, um, it'll probably would be a good idea for us to run a some power lines just down the center temporarily. So I have power for hovering. Uh, where are we at? Getting turned around here. Okay. Right. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our uh, blueprints and we're going to go to our right side Mark V storage. And we're going to pop that there. We're going to move it this way. And we're also going to move it forward that way. So that the edge of this wall lines up with the edge of the containers. Not the uh, not the output portion of the container, but just the container itself. And because when I was doing this in my testing, it just didn't look right with it pulled back one like that. And I think, too, we want that to just glitch into that a little bit. And the reason for that, we'll test this right now before we totally commit is that we're going to put a conveyor wall here and I needed to nudge it that way to get it to line up properly. And we want to use the this conveyor wall. Whoops. There we go. And that lines up with the hole. Get that one down and this one down here. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. One, two, three on this side. Let's go three that way. Put one there and we'll put a door here. And this time we're going to grab our left storage and move it this way and that looks correct okay let's lock that in place all right now what we're going to do is we're going to So basically with these two sets of storage, I can store every product that I'm currently making, but just that. <laughs> um, so, so to expand on this, uh, we're, we're going to need, we're going to keep going that direction. I could go, you know, more this direction too, but with the spacing that I decided upon here, it's not going to quite work out without bumping against, uh, you know, up against our conveyor road. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do instead is we're just going to keep going more to the west. And if we get, you know, far into the future, if we get into a situation where we're going to need to use some of this space, I'll figure something else out at that point. Uh, but we won't be able to we won't be able to put two more side by side over there without bumping into the conveyor road. And trust me, I don't want to redo that conveyor road. I mean, if I absolutely had to, I could, but yeah, not not particularly wanting to do that. Okay, so now what we can do is, and I think, uh, I think I'm gonna just do this now. Um, so it's already in place. Let's uh, let's go ahead and coat some more concrete. Now this area out here, I might repurpose for something else. 
So I think... I think what we're going to do... Is... End the building here. And let's just... Let's just put that wall there for now. It might not stay exactly like that. Uh, but we'll put that there for now just to kind of demark uh, the ending of the storage. Okay, so um, we want to go back to coated concrete. And we'll bring this down. I'm just doing this now so that way, you know, it's already done and I don't have to worry about it later. Try and get underneath stuff. Not that it's difficult to do that, but good deal. Okay, now, uh, next we're going to go back to a right side storage. And it looks like I'm going to need some stuff for this. So let me gather up um, all of the missing material so I can create two more of these. One on this side and one on this side. Um, incidentally, I put a, um, a sink over here just to kind of keep that product moving so it wasn't just stalled on the line. So we did that, and did I do that over here too? No, when that fills up, uh, I'll, I'll do the same if, if we're, you know, still going to keep it that way for a bit. Let's also just do one more power line down to there. Now we should be able to go to the right storage, flip that around there, and just bump it right up against that one. That looks correct. And we'll do the same thing for the left storage. And this should hopefully keep us going. For quite some time to come. All right. Now, what I'm going to do over here is we're going to have to drop that down. Okay, so. I'm going to build the back end of this storage because I, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to make this work for a very long time, if not for the rest of the playthrough. But, you know, if it turns out that we need to expand even further, you know, then we can we can certainly do that. But for now, we're going to build the back end of this out, too. So that means we want to get... Oh, that's going to be interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's start here and I think we want to go at least two walls that way and this is also going to need to go in fact I'm just going to pick it up all together for now so that'll be the end of the wall there and that will come to there I guess what we could do here is, well, here, let's not worry about that quite yet. We're going to put in a, a sink. No, a sink, not a shop, a sink here. And I think we'll turn it this direction. Okay, let's lock that in place for a second. Yeah, I want room to run conveyor lines through here if we need to. Um, so I think I'm actually going to bump that one that direction and maybe one that direction, just so it's not so cramped in there. And let's go with that setup. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a Mark V lift and put it on... Oh, you know what? I have the output of that going the wrong direction. 
because it's going to interfere with this input. So that means we just need to flip this around, which is not a big deal. Let's remove that and remove this because we're going to have to reset those things. But we want the output to go that direction. Okay, so let's get that one in place there. And that one can go there. Okay, so we'll have to do the same thing here. that 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 bring the output on this to here pop that belt in there and that lift there okay now what we do is we take a lift and we bring this down to the floor like so and we're going to need to do the same thing here. Auto save. Uh, what if... No. Yeah, those are going to have to go out this way. Hmm. The thing I don't like about that is it's not going to... Leave us a lot of room. It's not going to leave us any room, actually, to come through here. But we can fix that with a ramp, I guess. Okay, so let's put a merger here. Then we'll have to reset this. You know what we might be able to do, now that I think about it, is let's move that over one. This is going to be really tight. Uh, that's not going to look good, though, because it's going to... I mean, it'll work, but it's going to clip into that too much. Okay, got another idea. Let's run this belt down to here. This is the output going to the sink. Let's just put it right there for the moment. What we could do is put this back the way that it was with the output there. Uh, oh. Damn it, I forgot to uh, get rid of this because I want to reattach that because it may not work otherwise. Okay, so now we could put that there and have it go to here. Then we put a merger here, like so. Redo these again so they're attached properly. And then that, get back up in the air here. I can go there, go back to, and then straight into the to the sink. There we go. That'll work. That should work just fine. All right. Now what we're gonna do is uh, let's get. I just want to work on this corner for the moment. We'll you know finish out the rest of the building later, but I want to get some power over here. Let's put that in place and 
that in place. We'll just go all the way down. I think, uh, I gotta think, yeah, I think we're going to do another wall here. And then we're going to do, um, windows up there. Okay, good. Now, for power, which needs to come to there. Well, I think I still want to run power to... Well, we'll, we'll run directly across from here. And, you know, it's going to clip into this, but this is, this is temporary. We'll be moving that out away when we're done. So if we bring it right to here, is that, whoops. I want it to, to be straight and level. So it'll look right. Okay, so I think that's correct, except for we need to come up. There, let's just lock that in place for a second. And I'm going to grab a Mark II double. I think it needs to go here. Yeah, that looks good. It's not, it's never going to be perfectly level because, it, you know, it always has a bit of a sag in it, but that's okay. Okay, so for power for you. And then we will, let's run all the way down to here. And again, I think I might want this to be a double insulator. Just in case we need to, you know, connect things to the outside as well. Okay, let's get that in place. Get that in place. And these windows. Perfect. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this side uh, finished, you know, in terms of getting it set up so that way we can start feeding stuff into it while we work on the other side. So let's bring... Okay, so for here we're going to go... Uh, let's put that there. And then we want to go to four meter ramp walls. No, that actually is going to stay there. Actually, those can go all the way across like that. Or no, they can't. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. They can't. We need to be up too high there. So we're not putting anything across there at the moment. Okay, so let's go do some connections back here now. <clears throat> so the way I have everything set up is it's just going to pass everything through to the sink. Um, that way, you know, the product keeps flowing and it doesn't get blocked up until I have a chance to, you know, make the assignments. Is that... No, this is... Yeah, okay, I was going to say, that one didn't look like it was lined up, and that's because it wasn't lined up. Okay, let's remove this belt here. And we're going to take the bottom belt coming off of here, which is this guy and bring it over here. 
So that means... I think we have to... Okay, let's get rid of this. And bring that to there. And then bring this around to here. With a bracket. Now, we're going to attach it to here with a bracket. And then it's going to have to come down and around. There's no... It's just the way it's going to have to be. I don't like to do angles, downward or upward angles on belts, but sometimes you don't really have much of a choice. Um, because, you know, this lift can't go down any lower. And this belt is lower than that section, so somewhere you got to compromise. And I think uh, the neatest looking way to do that under the circumstances is to do it right here. We could even, we could even, you know, make the angle a little steeper so there's less of a, a slant there. But then I would have to remove the window because I don't want to put a bracket right in the middle of glass. So we're going to leave it this way and we're going to call it good. All right. Now, from everything inside of the storage facility will always be Mark V. Uh, no. Give me the belt, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let's run that right straight through into there. So, here again, everything's just going to pass straight through until it gets to the, the sink. Let's set up another... Uh, probably in just a single over here just so I have some power to quit falling down. Maybe we'll bring it to there. Good deal. Okay, so let's take a look now and see what's on our line. We've got concrete, screws, cables, and quick wire. So let's make our first storage bin. This one, we have to set it to the center output. So we'll set that to concrete. And so now it'll start throwing just concrete into there. Let's do cables next, but now they're gonna have to come out the left output. Alright, and that should start feeding cables into there. After that, let's do screws out the left. Okay, that's looking good. And then for this one, we're going to do quick wire. Okay, and then we also have modular frames and reinforced plates coming in on this line too. Because remember, we we fixed it up there to where it was merged. So there's a modular frame. There's okay. It's easier to see them because this belt, of course, isn't moving quite as fast as the other one is. So on this, let's see where are we at. This should be our quick wire, right? Okay, so let's make this one uh, modular frames. And we'll make this one, excuse me, this one reinforced plates. And that fills up the, the first six products coming off that belt on the bottom row. Just confirm that that product's going in there. And now we should not see anything coming out going into the sink. And that won't happen again, of course, until these bins start to fill up. So I like this setup. It's a, it's a lot cleaner than, uh, you know, what I was using before. And because we're using Mark V belts, everything moves so fast that I don't think we ever have to worry about it, you know, getting plugged up. Probably, I'm sure you could get away with this, you know, with Mark IV and maybe even Mark III. 
and if you don't mind things getting backed up even lower than that but I, i've never done the math on it and frankly i don't want to because that's just too much <laughs> too much math for my brain very good okay let's remove that and um we're gonna do the same thing now over here so let's get rid of this and because we're getting rid of that we no longer need the sink or any of this stuff over here get rid of that and that and let's take that lift off of there for now as well okay so you come into there and then this one here, I think we can use a lift. Oh, no. Actually, no. What we're going to do here is we're going to raise that lift up. Yeah, okay. So, it's going to need... Uh, here, let's put a temporary line in here just so we know where we're going. Okay, so we just need to raise it up to go to that next level so it goes straight in to there. Let's remove that. So right now this is showing just one marker. I think it needs to show the next marker and then one notch after that. Uh, actually, no. I think that's correct. No, it does need to go up one more. It needs to go to there. That looks good. Let's re... Uh, oh, I guess I didn't have to redo that belt, but it's all right. And then that can go just straight on into there. Except for... <laughs> wrong side. Let's try that again into there beautiful okay and then we will run this directly into there and then on this line we've got wire plates rods copper sheeting and rotors so we only have five product on this line so let's start with out of the center here we'll do wire There we go. Wire's going in. Um, let's do iron plates here out of the left. Let's do rods out of the left. Uh, copper sheeting we'll do out of this one. Rotors we'll do out of this one. Now this one, we're going to, because this is the end of our, you know, of our section of six or twelve. This one we're going to actually put plastic into to fill it up. So we'll set that up so it's already good to go. All right, let's just double check. We've got wire, we've got plates, we've got rods, we've got sheeting, and we got rotors, and that will have plastic, and nothing's coming through at the moment uh, to the sink. So we're in good shape. Beautiful. I'll go through um, later off camera and, you know, change all the signs and do the labels because uh, that's going to be kind of tedious. So I'll take care of that by myself. So the last thing we have to do to get to this side set up then is we have to get plastic. So what we're going to do for that is let's break that line there and we're gonna run this belt okay that needs to go down and over one Okay, so let's 
Uh, okay. I'll see if I can point at the right spot, but we want a, a wall mount. And I think that's where we want it to go. Nope, it needs to be moved over to the left. Uh, is it level, though? Yes, it's level. Just needs to come over to here. Interesting. I think I must have moved it over too far to the left. That would appear to be the case. Um, okay, so lock it there and then move it there. That should be correct. Looks good. All right, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a smart splitter down. Okay, that's correct there, and it should be up against the wall there. No, I have that over. Too far. Okay, try it again. Yeah, that's... I think that's correct. Okay. Alright, let's switch this to a smart splitter, and we are... Oh, uh, we want the input to go there. Okay. That can go away, and this can go away. We want the left output to be plastic. Center output is none, and right output is overflow. Okay, so now over here... What we have to do is we have to put a merger coming up this way. And we want the output to go into the factory. These lines need to be redone. Okay, now we're gonna put this, bring this belt up to about here. And then, again, we're going to have to angle it. And that should send plastic up to here. But we have a problem. Let's reset this belt again. Oh, no. I know what the problem is. Uh, we don't have any place for the rest of it to go yet. Right. Okay. So just to test that... the flow for the plastic is working correctly. There we go. Okay. That's all we need. I just needed to test it and make sure that the plastic was going through. And we should see the plastic go right on into here. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Look at that. Okay. And that should take care of all of the connections on this side of the building and completely fills up the first section of storage here.
What I think we'll do now is I was going to do something a little bit different. Well, I did. I'm sorry. I did do something different when I tested this, but when I did my test, I didn't put the second set of bins in. I just put the first set. And so what I ended up doing was running this stuff around the back of the building around this side, you know, to go into those bins. But we don't really need to do that since we have all these in place. So this next part of what we're going to do, I haven't... I haven't fully tested. I haven't tested at all. We're going to we're going to wing this one. The other uh, the other challenge that I see we're going to have too is that the conveyor hole is not going to line up properly. So, the way we're going to work around that is we're going to grab a lift and bring that lift down to here. Hold on, I need to, I need to put you in. Do I want to put? I might be. F where? Yeah, just put that there for a minute. If we go with the lift off of here now, and put it that way. We might, this might work better if we use a single hole wall. Yeah, see, we got a nice curve there. Okay, good. Now, let's go on the other side. Any chance this will give us nice curves if we just do it like that. No, it won't. Okay. We want nice curves. We're all about some nice curves. So that means we're going to go here. We're going to bump over that way. Well, no, we got to do it this way. One, two. I think we want to go there. It might be too close. We'll see. Yeah, it is. Okay. There we go. Nice curves. So we're currently feeding packaged fuel, rubber, and empty containers into here and again right now it's all just being passed through because we haven't assigned anything yet so let's go to this first splitter here and we will make the center output rubber and we'll start feeding rubber into that let's make this left output uh, package fuel Looking good. And we'll make this one empty can empty canister. Fan frickin' tastic. Okay. Now I am gonna add to this line out here computers and circuit boards. Because right now we're just throwing our computers and our circuit boards into a storage bin inside of that building over there and we want it to come into permanent storage. So that means then, uh, let's see, what do we got here? We got empty canisters. So let's make this circuit boards and we'll make this one computers. And that one's currently unassigned. We'll figure out what we'll do, what to do with that one later. Is that all nice and straight down there? Yeah, it is. Okay, looks good. It occurred to me that... I'm wondering if it would be better to utilize the top row for this. Nah, I don't think it's going to matter in the long run. So, I'll leave it the way it is. 
Game save. Okay, so let's go over here and get the circuit boards. Yeah, see, it's already it's already clearing up there. Uh, we'll get the circuit boards and the computers on this line as well. So for the circuit boards, we just need a merger. Is it gonna? Oh, it's gonna lock in for us. I love it when a plan comes together like that. Okay. And then we're simply just have to take this lift and do this. I wonder if ah, actually here. Let's do it the other way. Let's take a lift here. That's gonna no, that isn't gonna work. Okay. Let's attach it to you. And I guess it's probably six and one half do half dozen of the other there. Okay, so circuit boards are flowing through there and that's almost full, so I'll I'll move all of that stuff over later. Or I might even just sink it, I don't know, we'll see. Let's just confirm that the circuit boards are gonna get on the line. Sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't. You gotta redo them. Good. We have added circuit boards to the mix. Now, for uh, the computers, what we're gonna do here is we're going to get rid of that lift and that line. And we're gonna run I think I want to run to there. Right. And we'll run this to here. I believe <laughs> that's really close. That's really close to these cables. Um, but I think it'll make it underneath. If it does clip them, you know, we can always drop that lift down a notch. But I think it, yeah, it's got clearance. I mean, it's close, but it's got clearance. Okay, so we don't got to worry about that. I mean, not that we would act, act, actually have to worry about it anyways, but I just like stuff to work correctly. Okay, so now for here, we're going to take a merger. And we're going to just line it up so it's flush with the wall pretty much. Like so. And that should have split that correctly. Then we're going to grab this lift here and bring it up to here. And then just run that into there. That should be all we need to do. Let's confirm, however, that it is that this computer is indeed going to flow out onto the line. when it comes down here. There it goes. Fantastic. All right, that's all we got to do in here. Easy peasy, limit squeezy. We have, um, how many computers do I have stored here? All right, decent amount. I'll move those, the, because those take so damn long to make, I'm not gonna sync them. I'm, I'll move them over off camera. Maybe load up a truck or something to bring them over here or just do it in my own inventory. So that should take care of circuit boards and computers. And we just have one more product that we, uh, well, I mean, we have, we have actually have 13 more products that we could store on this side because we have no, 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 sorry. We have seven more, because we have all six up above and then one extra over here. Because this one we assigned to computers. So, what we could do, our, our aluminum, um, all-clad aluminum plating 
uh, production over there it is temporary because um, we're going to need way more than that for you know future stuff that we have to build but I would like this to start storing it over here so what we could maybe do is connect it to that merger to run it in through here and then just to store it in here which I think we will do that now I have not tested this either um, I had a different solution in my in my test save for that so we're gonna wing this one too but I I don't see why it won't work we might have to do a little bit of fancy footwork um, though to get the belt over here you know there's another option actually especially since that's temporary we could actually have the truck or even just a tractor deliver that if we're gonna I'm totally getting away from what I <laughs> what I tested but that idea has merit um, Hmm. Yeah, see, this is the thing. You, th this is a little bit bigger of a project than I, you know, for me to just do off the cuff because cause I got to think a few things through. So why don't we put this on hold? But the idea is that we'll, we'll do a truck station somewhere over in this area. I'll have to figure out how to get fuel to it. Because I, I want it to be automated. I don't want to have to manually do it. And then we'll just set up, you know, we'll either use our, our truck. We don't even really need to use the truck. I might even just do a tractor because, you know, tractor is smaller. And have the tractor just deliver the aluminum over to here. And then, I'll, of course, I'll connect this into that line to deliver the aluminum, you know, um, into the system. But let's put that on hold for now. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to lose power here in a second, probably. Let's just temporarily run that there and that there. We have a total of, s not counting the aluminum, because I was originally going to do the aluminum, excuse me, aluminum over here. Uh, we have six products that we want to store. We've got, uh, you know, all the steel products plus the heavy modular frames. So what we're going to do for that is let's go over here. <clears throat> and let's deal with the heavy modular frames first. So we're going to do away with all of this business. Which was, you know, feeding heavy heavy modular frames. Let's get rid of all that. And all of that. And we should have a few stored in here that I'll... I'll grab later and put into the main storage because again those are very expensive to make we're not going to sink them the splitter can go we're going to remove this wall here and we're going to that's a mark two we just need a mark one line for these because they move really slow we're going to hook that into uh That's weird. I, th I think it's just because the accordion on that lift is out so high. Okay, let's bring this into here as far as it'll go. And then bring it up to there. Unfortunately, these lights are going to have to go. But that's okay because I spend almost no time down here anyways. And I just did that more for 
aesthetics than essential, you know, because it was essential. I don't th think we can use a conveyor wall here. Let's see, though. Maybe we can. No, see, it doesn't quite line up. That's a bummer. Well, what about this one? Nope. Doesn't quite line up. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just have to leave that open. Can't do anything about it. It looks like the frames will clear those cables. Okay, so we're going to have to redo a couple things over here. Um, we're going to take this lift and we're going to... Put it in uh, back in place uh, there. We need to reverse it though and have it point this direction. And the reason for that is because we're going to have to merge um, this product here with the heavy modular frames. So these are steel pipes. Right, okay. So now what I want to do is I want to run a line out of there to Here, I think. Yeah, oh, that looks about right. All right, let's get a merger with the output on this side. And that should be, nope, needs to come that way one. Now you should be able to go in there, and you should be able to go in there, and you should be able to go in there. Perfecto. Okay, so that merges the heavy modular frames onto... Uh, what the hell? Uh, yeah, that wasn't supposed to be that way. <laughs> It's been that way for as long as this building's been in existence, and I never noticed it. Let's put it back this way. Okay, there you go. Um, so that should be all we have to do here. On this end, anyway. Oh, we need to get the lifts back in place. So let's cut all of this out of here. And yeah, these guys are full. I might sink that stuff. We'll see. We don't need this or this any longer. So let's get these back in place. So, all right. Um, the way this part's going to work now. What we're going to do, actually, before we do anything more with this, let's get rid of the bottom two thingies of those. And we're going to 
we need to get our roof pieces in place so that I, you know, so I set this up correctly. So, uh, we'll go to walls. Uh, no, sorry, we go to architecture. Where's walls at? Or, or roof pieces. Basic walls, ramp walls. I think they're in architecture, aren't they? Yeah, roof. We want to go with our metal roof. Bring, yeah, bring that to... Th Actually, bring it up to there for the moment. Okay, this going to go all the way across. That's got that as is actually is not going to go there. Instead, we're going to be doing this. So this just shows me, you know, what I have to work with. Okay, so this roof piece has to to go. We're also going to need to get rid of this. And now, what I want to do is let's, let's put you right here temporarily, but lined up with the middle belt. Right, okay, and then I want the, I just want to make sure that this angle is going to be nice and neat. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's the correct positioning. However, we're going to do this up above for obvious reasons. Okay, so let's bring this up to here, there, there there and we actually need a merger not a splitter for that so we should be able to just run this center line directly in there I want to run it straight into here from there, though. All right. For this, we're going to have to... Whoop, what the hell just happened there? We're going to have to have a curve. Can't do anything about it. It's just the way it's going to be. So it is, it is a nice 90 degree angle, but it's also curving down. Because here again, it's just the height of everything. And, and so that stuff's going to just go into the sink. So, uh, oh, why is that backing up? Oh, because I didn't hook things up over on this side. Ugh, right. We should do that, huh? Okay, let's get that done. So we want to start here and go to go to there. Ran out of power. Let's grab another power pole and just stick it over here. So I have that in place. All right. We'll turn this one this way. I think that's... Okay, that's lined up with the other one on that side. And then on this end... We want to bring it that way... Two, I think? Was it two or one? Looks like it was two.
Yeah, that should be correct. All right, let's um, do this and that. I'm just doing this right now so I can get the power run. So with this one, we're going to run these across here. Because the back of the building is going to not have a slanted roof like the front, uh, the front of the building is. And remember, this is the idea is if in the future we need to expand further, we just pick up the, the sinks, break out the wall, and then push everything back further and then rebuild it all. So it's not a big deal in that regard. Okay, so uh, now what we need to do is get power over here. And where's your power? Oh, it's right there. Okay, good. So that'll be easy. So let's run over to here. I'm going to put a... I'm going to put an outlet there just so it's there if we need it. And we'll do one on this side too. that there. Let's run another one into the corner and then that can just connect right to the sink. Beautiful. All right, so let's see. I had to... How did I do that? I had to turn that around, right? Yeah, we had to face that one out but that one stayed facing the current direction that was not part of my testing so again I have to just kind of remember how I did it so let's redo this one but with the output facing that direction we'll reset the oh I'm not going to be able oh I can get to that belt okay good Set that belt, reset this lift. And then bring this down to the floor. Down to here. Uh, here, let's just bring it to there for the moment. This had to come down this way and go this way with a merger, but the output coming this direction. Move that to there. And that looks correct. Reset this. And rerun this line straight into the merger. And this comes to here, go back to, and voila, we're in business. Very good. Okay, so what do we have coming on this line? We've got stators, motors, and industrial beams. I think, though, that I want to put steel beams and pipes first because we use those all of the time. So let's make this center output on this beam, steel beam. And we'll, we have, you know, these obviously aren't flowing yet, but they will when we're done here. We'll make those pipes. Uh, we'll make let's make this one encased industrial because that's the next thing we're gonna be using a decent amount of. We'll make this one stators 
and this one we will make motors. Okay. So that should stop stuff from going into the sink. We have encased industrials, we have stators, and we have motors. It's a beautiful thing. Very good. All right, now over here, um, uh, what we're gonna have to do a little bit of fancy pants stuff to get this to go in nicely. I mean, what I could do is, well, no, I guess I can't do that anyway. It's not gonna let me. Uh, we might. Uh, okay. Let's grab a lift. And what I want to do here is, I think I want that to be there. No, it's got to come over maybe to the seam there. Let's remove that roof piece as well. Okay, so that's the right curve. I think, though, that that's going to be too tight. So let's move this back to... I think that... Oh, God damn it. I think it needs to go there. We'll try that. That might not work right. We'll see, though. Oh, I didn't... Okay, it's got to come over this way one, too, doesn't it? All right, let's get rid of this one. This is so much easier to do, though, when we can hover. Yeah, I believe that's what we want to do. Okay, let's get rid of that. Good. And so that's... It looks like that entire line is just beams. And we're good to go there. Alright, perfect. Now that we know where our... Um, lifts are going to be. Let's get rid of these because we don't need them any longer. And I think that just needs to go there. Let's get rid of that little section there so everything's coming off the same exact point. And that just goes into there beautifully. And that should start filling this up with pipes. Ah, I love it. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, let's get rid of this. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of... those and it'll make it look like these conveyor lifts here are being supported by the roof okay so the only thing we didn't set were the heavy industrial frames. So let's just double check. This is beams, that's pipe, encased beams, stator, motor. So this one we want to set to heavy modular frames. Those will come through a lot slower, however. Uh, than everything else. 
Let's see if we have one on the line yet. It should be this line here because we combined it with the pipes. I never actually confirmed, uh, you know, to make sure that they were actually getting on this pipe. So we'll do that now. There it is. Okay. There it goes. Let's just make sure it gets into its bin over here. I can't even see it coming through. It's moving so fast, but there it is. Beautiful. Okay. Love it. All right, guys. The last thing uh, that we're going to do in this episode is we're just going to kind of finish out the build itself, the building itself, I should say. Um, and then, like I said, I'll do all the labeling off camera. I'm not going to do that on camera because that's going to be pretty tedious. So let's put these windows in place here. want that to go to there yeah this is not gonna work maybe what we'll do for that is we'll do this and that and uh, that's not gonna work either right well I mean I guess we could do that No, nah, it's a little cheesy McSqueezy for my taste. We'll just do it that way. That doesn't go there either. And now that I think about it, that's not supposed to go there either. Because what we want to do here, of course, is we want to put down this. Oh, man, that's just... I'm going to leave it that way for now and I might I might let myself get away with that. Now for this, let's put that piece in place there. And what we could do here is put that there but then slide it back to there or, you know, maybe not even mess with it at all. What would it look like if we put the inverted piece back in? No, too much clipping going on. All right, we're just going to have to leave that open. And that's okay. Sometimes that's what you just got to do, right? So for over here, let's put this back here. We're going to lock it, but we're going to scooch it over so it's not clipping into the that belt there. Excellent. Now, we're going to do a little trick down in front here so we have some an overhang overhanging eave. Uh, so we're going to put a wall here, but we're going to lock it, and we're going to shove it all the way to there. Then we're going to put one, two, th three of these in place. We're going to connect that roof piece there, that roof piece there. And we're going to delete this and all of this. And then we're going to do this. And that gives us an eave. Little tiny bit of texture flickering, but you don't notice it too much as long as it's everything's the same color. Now, I tried to... Yeah, see, that's a little jank there, but what can you do, right? One thing we could maybe do, actually, is if we go here... Uh, no, go here. And just change this to a black. We could just paint... 
Oh, I guess that doesn't... Wait, that one painted? Why isn't this one painting? I don't know. That's weird. We could just make that whole entire... Okay, why... Why can I paint this one, but I can't paint this one? That is weird. Yeah, let's do that. I, I think I like that better, actually. Let's do the same thing over here. And all the way along. Those... Yeah, those are... Those can't be colored. And we'll do the back windows here. Good. I think I like that better. Need to do these ones up here, too. Alright, so that takes care of our front roof. Uh, now, for the ceiling, what we're going to do... Is we're just going to... Uh, I'm sorry, not the ceiling, the roof. We're just going to have a flat roof. But, what we're going to do is... We're going to... Let's grab the metal, uh, the flat metal roof, and run, run three rows of this down the center. And let's also run... Like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with the glass roof. Here. And I want it to... Yeah. I want it to go that direction. I don't know why one side of these roof pieces are thicker than the other side. I kind of wish they were just uniform on all sides, but they're not, so. So that gives us some skylights. Uh, looks like we're out of silicon. I'm going to keep the silicon and the quartz crystals and all that over here. I'm not going to put those into the main storage. At least not right now. I mean, I... Uh, yeah, they're just something we so seldom need that... I'm just, you know, I'll just leave them here. Because then I, I just run over here and grab it when I need it. And these are explosives, which we haven't done anything with <laughs> since we've made them. I really should probably be sinking that stuff, actually, but... Well, no, actually, I'm, I'm sinking the... Yeah, I'm sinking the raw materials for it. So, yeah. I, I, I just remembered that we had set that up several episodes ago. Excuse me. Uh, we'll put our big uh, storage sign here, too, but let's uh, finish things up over here first. We're almost done, guys. I know this is going to be a little bit longer episode, but these things take time. We just have to assume that we have, like, a little portal, you know, for those to come through. All right. Now, for here... We're going to enclose that in. Um, how bad? Oh, yeah, that's going to really clip into that, isn't it? Yeah, that doesn't look good. I wish we had half walls. I mean, I could, I could do this.
It does flicker a little bit. It's not terrible though. And then let's get a side door. Flip it around. Yeah, flip it that way. Because we want to, you know, we want to kind of hide the logistics from the main floor. We don't have to, but that's just the way I want to set it up. I suppose these could be the windows too. Sure, why not? Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Wasn't planning on that, but let's do it. Me likey. Right on. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing that we did uh, on this wall over here, but I'll I'll do that off camera um, because we need to wrap this episode up. But there's a couple more things I want to show you first, and then I'll cut the camera. I'll do finish the building completely, and then bring you back to show you the end result. So uh, for this side, uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll get those two pieces in there. And then uh, we need that piece there. And then we need to get the uh, this piece here to go there and there. Good. And then again, we'll do the same thing on this side. There's two more things I want to do inside the building, and I think... For that to look right. Uh, all right. Let me just. <clears throat> I need. I need this setup over here too to make this work. So give me a second here. That looks better. Okay. Let's get rid of these now. I, I am going to still want to hover in here. So I'll, I'll figure out a way to... to re oh, actually, what I'm about to do next might might fix that fix that for us, now that I think about it. Uh, we're going to put some lights up. So let's go to organization, get ceiling lights, our beloved ceiling lights, which I hate. So why are they beloved? I don't know. I can't explain that. Let's move the power thingy over there and... I just don't like these lights because they're really big. They're, you can't, you have to have them like me mega separated from each other. I, and when, I just feel like we need more flexibility with the lighting in this game uh, for tight, you know, tight spots and whatnot. Needed some more quick wire there. All right, put that one there, that one there. Really, game? You're killing me. Uh, did I make one of these too wide? I don't think so. All right, what we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to bump this one down to there, I think, to get this to work right. There we go. Saw weight. Okay, so... Um, we put that power connector right where that wall is, didn't we? Why don't we move it? On the other side of the wall. To 
do the same thing on that side too. Uh, in fact, might as well just do it right now. going to do is we're going to take and put you right there and then nope I want you to go up there and then to there then we can hook all these up And let there be light. It's looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good. Now, even though, and yes, I can hover now because we got these insulators. So that fix that issue. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is, even though I can hover... Um, to get stuff, it's still, I still want to put catwalks up there because it only seems right. And there may be times where I won't have my hover pack on anyway. Not likely, but maybe. Okay, so let's go here and we'll go to architecture and grab catwalk stairs. And we want those to go right here if I can get the friggin' thing to behave. Uh, yeah, right there. It, man, that is finicky. There. Bring that up to there. And then we want to get the T-crossing piece and just run that all the way down to here. Nope. This way. And it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't come out evenly. It's just the way it is. Can't do anything about it. And then get, yep, get you down there. It's a little bit jank, you know, with that rail poking through the window there. To the point where, nah, I'm just going to leave it. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and get the rest of this finished. I want to show you one more thing before I cut the camera and finish the build, and then I'll show you, of course, like I said, the end product uh, when we're all completely done. I'm going to, like I did before, I'm going to trim out the building with some beams just because I think it makes things look nice. So we're just going to Put some beams there. Mm, okay. These beams like to go their own direction sometimes. I want you to... Yeah, like that. You have to kind of try and manipulate it the way you want it to go. Let's. I'm not sure if I want to run. Let's just look at this for a minute. We could do that. Eh, I don't know. That seems like it might be a bit much. At least for there, it might make more sense to run it along this seam because of the change in the uh, in the roof. That maybe. Bring that up to there.
Okay, I definitely want it to be on top here. And then we're going to want to run that piece down. And if we change this to diagonal mode, And then we can put um, caps in here, like so. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of beams. Okay. Well, anyway, you get the idea. So, uh, I'll I'll trim out the building uh, with these beams. Get the rest of the inside uh, put together. And I, I'm not so sure I actually like all these double outlets, so I might switch some of those back. They'll still work with my hover, even though we can't see them. I might switch some of those back to just internal ones, because it looks kind of weird with them all poking out like that. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, so let me uh, get this all finished up, and then I'll bring you guys back and show you the, the end result. All right, guys, we are finished finally uh, with our storage, our new storage facility. I'm really, really stoked about how well it came together. So um, this is what it looks like from the outside. I did go around and used the steel beams to trim out the building. I got all of the, you know, the extra storage taken care of. Uh, basically just fed it all into uh, the storage bins inside. And uh, I have a, a truck, or actually a tractor, set up to deliver the aluminum sheeting over here. And again, that's temporary because that aluminum sheeting plant is uh, not, it's not my intent to keep that there forever. Um, but that's going. Uh, so now we have aluminum. Um, down here, I set up a small bin and connected it to the sink. So that way we have, you know, if, if we need to manually feed anything into the sink, we can do that. And uh, we put a sign up for that. Let's see, what else? This is what it looks like on the back side of the building. As you can see, I, oh, I don't want that to be a double. Let's fix that real quick. I left a couple of double connectors um, outside along the building, you know, so uh, mostly like on the corners or in places where it made sense. And then this double, I think, is actually just around the other side here. Yeah, it is. So looks a lot better. This is what this side looks like over here. All right, I got everything cleaned up. As you can see, we have, uh, I used some decals, uh, just some decorations in here. So that's a hard hat area. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course, because this is fix it, efficiency is more important than safety. So, yep, there you go. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys, that is going to be it then for this episode and for our storage rebuild. Uh, oh, and I got everything labeled too, by the way, as you can see. Uh, we still have lots of bins now uh, to expand. All of these bins across here are available as well as, yeah, almost everything. No, actually everything on the bottom here is, is available. So this will last us for some time to come before we have to expand on the storage here and uh, see what else I was going to say one other thing to you but I can't remember what it was now but uh, yeah I like it
I like the way that it came together. Uh, all right, so the before we get back to expanding into larger product lines, um, we need to do something about our power because we are getting close to the limit of our power, as you can see here. So we don't really want to pay too much attention to capacity because that also includes, you know, um, the bio the biofuel burners. Uh, we really just want to look at production so right now we're we're producing you know 3840 and we're at uh, 3670 for maximum consumption so those two lines are really close which of course means we need to expand the power so I think that's going to be the next big thing we're going to work on like I said before we get going uh, with setting up new product lines to work towards phase four which is going to take quite some time to do uh, we also need to I, I haven't taken a look in a long time at the MAM in terms of things we can research so we'll do that at the start of the next episode because um, this episode has gone very long so we need to, to wrap things up here um one thing i was thinking about doing and i did this before is taking a metal beam taking a metal beam turning it to angled and then just kind of putting it up there, except for I want it to be right in the center. There we go. Seems to me like uh, that big ass sign should have a little more support than just that thingy down there. So cool. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Looks sexy in here. <laughs>